He'll, of course, just did a video on why fighting games are a joke to the rest of the esports community, and you should go watch it. It's a fantastic video. And his points were, A, fighting game developers don't give us much support, B, fighting games are a small niche community, and C, there are certain toxic players in the fighting game community that make us all look bad. And he's right, he's totally right, and the thing is, all these three points create a feedback loop into each other. We're a small community, which means that we're not as profitable as games like Fortnite or Call of Duty. And that makes developers put less money into us, put less support into us, which makes us have to rely on the community more. And since we rely on the community more, that means that when parts of the community end up being toxic and make headlines for that toxicity, the community suffers even more. And that drives people away, which makes us more of a niche community, which makes us get less developer support, and the cycle continues. And I really need the entire FGC to listen to me right now. This is why FGC developers are obsessed with accessibility to new people. Because for our genre to survive, not just as a competitive esport, but as a business, we need way more people playing than we have now. Like, I'm going to tell you my own experience from working in video games for 17 years. Publishers think that fighting games are a joke. Investing in a fighting game is looked at as financial suicide. As fighting gamers, we get really excited if we see a hundred or even a thousand people playing a fighting game online at the same time. You know how many people are playing Team Fortress 2 right now? A 15-year-old game? 68,000. You know how many people are playing Strive, the newest fighting game we have? 2,000. And I know some of you are going to come at me and say, Oh, but Strive isn't a good Guilty Gear. Xard and Plus R are better. Xard had 88 players. And Plus R had 99. Even Brawlhalla, who does basically the best, only has about 17,000 people playing. Meanwhile, I can choose any random shooter or any random MOBA, and they're getting numbers way higher than us. And from a business perspective, we need to fix that. We need to become something that common players want to play. I know that a lot of you are saying, oh, we don't need to do this, we've always done fine in the past. Yes, we do. Financially, we are at one of the worst points we have ever been as a genre. And that's why Arc System Works is doing stuff like teaming up with Grand Blue Fantasy and Dungeon Fighter, because they have huge fan bases in the millions, hundreds of millions. And we're making more of these games with accessible controls, but our community pushes back against that. This makes a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation that makes developers and publishers not want to put the money in. I'm sorry to say this, but as a community, we have to accept that fighting games need to change to survive.